hello and welcome to our youtube channel if you love tiny living then this video is for you in this video we bring to you the top 10 design ideas you can use to make a small space in a tiny container house feel bigger good welcome back Efficient use of space in any house is a good thing. However, living in a tiny house is a different ball game altogether. Efficient use of every inch of space in a tiny house is crucial to enhance sustainable tiny living. By using basic design tricks, it is easier and less expensive to make any space in a tiny container house look and feel bigger than the constricting dimensions of shipping container modules. Here are the 10 design ideas to help you get the most out of the small space in a container tiny house. At number one, use an open plan design. Owing to the limited indoor space inside a tiny house, having an open plan living area is the best alternative. An open plan living area will allow the living room to flow and blend seamlessly into the adjacent spaces. Alternatively, you can tear down all the walls and open up the views and connect all the adjacent spaces to the living room or replace the solid doors with glass ones to create a boundless, connected, cozy living room. You can use area rugs or carpets to define different functions within the living room rather than using walls or, div or dividers which stop the eye and make the space appear smaller. Number two, keep it simple. Nothing makes a room feel smaller than a lot of clutter. Organize, declutter, and keep the space as simple as possible. Scale it down and only remain with the essentials. After all, that is what tiny living is all about. Avoid busy patterns and overwhelming colors in your house, and if you must use a bold pattern or a bold color, then consider placing the pattern on one accent wall or when it comes to colors just paint a single wall or a door and stick to one shade of color. Number three, build in the furniture. Traditional furniture is not made for small spaces and therefore it can waste a lot of space in a tiny container house. Built-in furniture occupies a smaller spatial footprint than freestanding furniture. Because of the static nature, built-in furniture takes up less visual and practical space as well as giving you the freedom to arrange and organize furniture around it. You can replace freestanding beds with a built-in wall-to-wall platform with underneath storage or replace a freestanding bookshelf with a built-in that is fixed on the wall to free off the limited floor space under it. In addition, built-in furniture will also allow you to customize your furniture to suit your needs and the size of the space you have. Number four, use monochrome colors. One of the best tricks when decorating space in a tiny house is to use light colors on the wall. White and other light, light tones reflect light and makes a room feel airy, serene, and larger. Painting the walls and the ceiling the same shade of color will help you to blur the boundaries between the walls and the ceiling causing your eye to travel upwards, thereby creating the illusion 
of an addition of height. Select furniture that is upholstered in light colored tones to match your house color. Choose plain or solid colored upholstery over those with busy patterns. This will help a small space feel more open and less chaotic. Consequently, preserving the clean lines of furniture and all other installation in your small house will help you make the space feel neat and orderly. Number five, embrace folding options. Folding furniture can transform a tiny room into an efficient multifunctional space. Folding furniture can easily fold away and be stored when it's not in use, hence adding to the flexibility and the function of a tiny house. Alternatively, you can stack it up with stackable chairs for your dining or reading spaces. Besides, stackable chairs can also be stored away to free up space for another function in a small space. If you like any of the pieces you've seen in this video, you can purchase them online through the links that have been provided in the description below. Number six, bring in the sunshine. Provide good daylighting into the house as much as you can. A well-lit space looks brighter and bigger than what is the case. Daylight allows the eye to travel beyond the bounds of your tiny house to the outside making your tiny space feel bigger. You can use bigger windows and full height sliding doors whenever possible, especially in the living room and the bedrooms to help accentuate the space and kill the claustrophobic feel of living in a shipping container box. Number seven, the mirror reflection. Mirrors are cheap and easy room expanders to use in any tiny space. Mirrors help dissolve the room boundaries and reflect light, making a tiny space appear bigger and spacious. If you don't have the room for a floor mirror to sit, you can hang a large mirror on the wall or do a gallery wall of mirrors to create some depth and visual interest. Number eight, remove internal doors. Swing doors eat a lot of floor space in a tiny house. This makes it very difficult to position furniture in a limited indoor space. Whenever you can, remove all internal doors if you have them. You can keep them for the bathrooms and the bedrooms and remove them and remove them everywhere else even in the closets. In a kitchenette, replace the overhead cabinets with open shelves. This will help to create a tremendous sense of freedom and openness in the living room. If you must use internal doors, then go for sliding doors. Sliding doors are better space savers compared to their swing counterparts. Number nine, allow some contrast. As much as it is good to paint or decorate the interior of your space with a single monochromatic color, when decorating a small space, it's always good to pick a color scheme and stick to it. You can have at most three colors, if possible. A wall color, a furniture color, and an accent wall color. However, for true comfort, a little bit of contrast in a tiny space will help bring out the hidden treasure of that small space. Feel free to mix in a large piece of art, a dark wall color, 
a colored painted ceiling or a bright piece of furniture like a bed or a sofa to bring out an element of surprise in a tiny room. Last but not least, at number 10, incorporate transformative furniture. Multipurpose space allows you to use your limited and constricting space for more than one function at different times of the day. However, when it comes to transformative furniture, it allows you to use that piece of furniture for more than one function. For example, instead of a coffee table, you can invest in a storage ottoman. An ottoman will allow you to have a table with a tray or an unusable seat when you have guests and even in addition it will give you additional storage space. You can also use a drop leaf table as opposed to the traditional dining table whereby you only remove the leaf from the dining room table when it is needed. In addition, instead of a traditional sofa, you can invest in a day bed or a sofa bed. A sofa bed in the sitting room can be used as a seat during the day and transformed into a bed for guests at night. You are encouraged to use furniture with a low profile. This will help you to free up the vertical space above it and allow you to accommodate wall hangings to help draw the eye upwards. We hope you found our design tips exhaustive and informative enough to help you with your own tiny container house. If you've built your own shipping container home, let us know if you have any extra design tips that you used to help us add to our list. If you feel we've left out anything, kindly let us know by posting in the comments below. If you like the video, as usual, give it a thumbs up and feel free to share it. If this is the first time you are watching our YouTube videos, you are encouraged to subscribe for our weekly videos on amazing design ideas from shipping container homes and you are encouraged to click on the bell so that you get notification whenever we post a new video. Thank you for stopping by and see you in the next video. Bye for now.